Alright, good evening everybody and welcome back again to another fine episode here at the Artist Corner where we bring you fine drawing tutorials on a regular basis. Tonight let's go ahead and start with a, um, oh, let's see, how about, uh, can we do an alleyway? Here would be, this, would, this could be a, a brick wall. I'm just going to go ahead and brick it up. Knowing that our horizon line is going to be somewhere around here. Okay. Horizon line. So our vanishing point. Let's put it there. Alright. And now we're going to go ahead and Imagine bricks. Here we go. Now we're going to have some bricks that way. And there we go. Now, these bricks are going to get bigger as they get closer to you, smaller as they get farther away from you. But either way, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take the time to, to find them. And as you, and I'm not using a ruler. A lot of artists would, would use a ruler to do this. I think that it's, uh, it can be helpful to have a ruler in these kinds of things. Using the same vanishing point, we can find a sidewalk. Okay. And we can put the sidewalk around the corner. All these lines are going to go vertical. I mean, go uh, with the vanishing point. Okay? And then we've got these ones running up and down. <clears throat> now let's say uh, we want to put a car. Or, no, let's put a building on the other side of the street. Let's say um, a tall building. So we're going to have a tall building on the other side of the street and it's going to have an alleyway right there but we'll say that we're going to go ahead and see this that is one tall building but we can see to the end of it and there we go okay and then we can run straight across the top and we'll run that one just a little bit taller and straight across the top there okay now we have established a couple of tall buildings but in the distance let's go ahead just for fun we'll establish a couple more buildings there's a building way in the back here and we're gonna just put it in there and maybe behind it we'll see another building and since we've got our horizon line we know that it's gonna have this side showing there and any other building we see way back here it's going to have the same effect from this horizon line so we could even put a building way 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 back here it's a very big tall business building and so that one's way in the back okay so now we've established some buildings and we're at three minutes and 44 seconds next thing we're going to do is put uh, something here for our focal point. So let's go ahead and just establish that there's um, a doorway here. So we're going to have uh, a doorway running our lines up and down and up and down. And usually doors in the city are going to have some sort of overhang. So we're going to give it a nice overhang and attach it to the side of the door. Okay. Now, let's say that our doorway is going to also need, let's say it's a business, so it's a, like a, maybe a glass door. It's a glass door. We're going to put a, a sign in here, open sign. We're still using these same uh, vanishing point here, even for the sign. Okay. We can put things that are off kilter, but, you know, at this point, we're working everything that's going to be according to the vanishing point. And as you can see, I sort of separated these into equal zones. That's because we want to have sort of the same number of bricks in each zone. 
pretty much. So we're gonna put another brick here, another brick here, another brick here, another brick here. Another, 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 another. Now the truth is, as this gets further and further away from you, there would be a difference in the vanish. And there would be the, up there would be another vanishing point. So things would get smaller the further away they go from your, your eye. This is eye level to the viewer. So you guys are looking right this way into my imaginary world. Now, we're going to go ahead and run a um, some sort of pipe down. That's a big pipe. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make that a street lamp. So we got a street lamp here. And we'll have it come out and over the street. There's our street lamp. Okay, now we are going to put some garbage cans, I guess. Garbage, garbage. No, I don't think there'd be garbage on a sidewalk, would there? But we are gonna have uh, the sidewalk broken into sections. So you have one section there. And these sections are gonna get bigger and further apart the closer you get to the viewer. Now. There's texturing that's not, not here yet, but let's just go ahead and put manhole cover and maybe a business. Would there be like an overhang thing? I guess there would be, wouldn't there? And a business like this. So it would have some sort of um, like a curtain or something. Like this. And it would hang down. Like this. Okay. And we're at 7 minutes and 11 seconds. Let's go ahead and pause. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to come in here remembering this is our horizon line. And we're going to locate the head of a character. And the shoulders of a character. And then the arms. And forearms. And we're going to put the hands here. I don't know if any of you guys know who this character is yet, but I'm trying to do the best I can to portray this character. Hat. We have eyes behind a mask, and then we've got the head and the coat, and we've got a suspicious set of and we got this coat here. Does any of you guys remember the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, this is me trying to do my turtle thing. And he's got on his coat. And he's trying to be inconspicuous. Not doing a very good job in my opinion. But anyway, we're going to say that that's Leo or whatever. And this is our eye line here. So as you can see, the turtle's a little bit lower because the turtles are shorter. But over here, we're going to go ahead and... Not the manhole cover. We'll leave that alone for now. But that's the idea. And I hope you enjoyed my little de you know, demonstration of one-point perspective. And we've got ourselves a turtle. And he's in our New York City... Uh, sort of scenario here and maybe we even down here at the end of the thing we could put like some hoodlum who doesn't know what's up and he's like come on all right and we'll say that he's you know not realizing that he's put on his maybe put on some long sweater here and and maybe he has a buddy 
shrugging shoulders, hands in the pockets. Another. Anyway, so that's our idea. So as you can see, we keep everything right here at the at this level. So even their heads are at this level, and his head is just below that level because they're shorter. And if I wanted to make a child, well, that head would be even down lower and drawn down here. If it was this close, or if it was weighed back here, if it was a short person, their head would be that big. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial at the Artist Corner with your friendly neighborhood illustrator, Mr. Dave Joyer.